I became uh, more fascinated with, uh, with really with ending the wars by trying to uh, create energy from something that, uh, that we're not doing now, trying to create energy in a different way and propel a vehicle in a different way. And that became as kind of like a, a uh, obsession with me now. It's like a focus that I can't. This I is Link Volt. Like yeah, Link Now, Volt. the story, if you're not familiar with it, is he went on the, he has this 1959 Lincoln Continental. He went on the internet. He found this guy in Wichita, Kansas, who wants to build a, uh, well, a green, I, uh, I, I had to Google around for uh, uh, about a month to locate somebody that was that wa that was into uh, env uh, efficiency and uh, a a and power uh, and generating uh, power and, uh, and and big motors to move big things. Everybody was talking about little things, and I'm looking around here. I stand out in front of the Ritz Carlton here, and I see everybody, all these successful guys and. And, and, and ladies coming in here, and they all got these huge wagons. They're whirling in, and you know, and everything's got Corvettes, and you know, everything. And it's it's, it's cool. I mean, it, it it doesn't say anything to me other than uh, you know, Americans are a lot of them are big, and you know, and Is they like Canadian and they like big or? cars. Big Ameri Canadians are big too. And they like big cars and long highways. It's your a car huge is, your place. Your car is 19 feet long. 19 and a half feet, two and a half tons. So, you know, that's going to be a hybrid. We're going to make that thing work. And, uh, and, and we're going to get over 100 miles to the gallon with it. That's, uh, without a doubt, we're going to do that. So, so, and we're going to demonstrate three different ways to power a car that size, in, all in the same car. And we're going to hook it up with uh, one of... Uh, the Dreamforce websites, which we're working on right now, so that every, we've got sensors on every little thing in this car, uh, what the angle is going up and down, what, what it's doing, uh, what the temperature is, what the altitude is, uh, how much fuel, uh, how many kilowatts in the, in the, low, in the, in the uh, prime mover, how much fuel is going into the generator, what's the battery situation. All of these things are all being monitored and censored and sent to the to the website where the back room, the back office is calculating them all into graphs that all come back to the website so that uh, as you're w rolling down the road, you're watching yourself on the internet and checking out your stats. And so we can compare a plug-in electric vehicle with a uh, long ranger electric vehicle, we like to call it that, with this, it's got a generator that, sits, uh, that makes it go for as long as you want to go. And we, we developed an extremely, extremely efficient generator system which I think has got some really revolutionary things in it. And we're also working on uh, onboard fuel creation, which is one of the important things to eliminating roadside refueling. And that's the goal of our program. And, and since I'm a rock and roll star, it doesn't matter. You know, I don't care. I'm not scared to fail. So uh, I have this goal, and it's a goal.